guys, we have an urgent information coming out. Scientists give chilling update on a mysterious interstellar object racing through our solar system. As they warn, it's even bigger than we thought. All right, so we're going to see what's going on here. Uh, we went live last night, and I mentioned that it's way too early to put out like all these predictions, the size, and all this type of stuff, and where it's heading. All right, so again, we do have some very important updates. In a recent update, scientists have confirmed that the mysterious interstellar object officially designated 3i slash Atlas is potentially larger than initially believed. All right, so we're going to get to all this news here, guys. So do me a favor, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Thank you again for your support. We're going to start with this one here. All these information will be in the description box. On July 1st, 2025, astronomers detected a mysterious interstellar object hurtling through our solar system, sparking global curiosity and debate. Now, you have some scientists out there. They believe that this is an alien spacecraft and is heading towards Earth. And it's going to happen, I think it's going to reach our planet November or early December. It says here, officially named 3i at last, this celestial visitor has been analyzed using data from the Vera C. Rubin Observatory revealing its staggering size and prompting speculation about its origins. According to a recent study, this object is the largest... What? The largest interstellar visitor ever recorded. <whistles> Measuring roughly 7 miles, 11.2 kilometers in diameter, Larger than Mount Everest. <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> man. Woo. This article explores the latest findings about 3i Atlas, its potentially implication, and the scientific disclose, uh, discourse surrounding it. Are you serious? I mean, a few days ago, they said this is the size of Manhattan. Now it's the size of Mount Everest. Hmm. Man. So 3i Atlas was first identified by NASA's asteroid uh, terrestrial impact last alert system telescope uh, with earlier images later discovered and data from the Vera C. Rubin Observatory dating back to June 14, 2025. So this thing entered our solar system. And um, a lot of people are keeping an eye on this one. Now, there's some people out there that is saying this is Baba Prophecy, the <clears throat> Bulgarian uh, blind woman. She passed away in 1998, I believe. But um, she had all these prophecies. And one of them is uh, 2025. There will be a new light in the sky. And it's going to happen during a sports event uh, televised live um, worldwide. So I'm not saying that her prophecy is going to come true. I'm not saying that. I don't believe in none of these, again, Nostradamus or Baba. I don't believe in none of them. I don't believe in aliens, uh, UFO. Uh, I do believe what the Bible says, that there will be fallen angels, demons. First John tells us that there will be many antichrist spirits coming into the world. That's what I believe. All right, so it says here, a study published on Arctic involving over 200 researchers confirmed that the object's nucleus has a radius of approximately 3.5 miles. 
that's 5.6 kilometers, translating uh, to a diameter of about seven miles. That's even bigger than Mount Everest, 5.4 miles, uh, almost twice the size of Mount Kilimanjaro, that's 3.6 miles. The researchers noted emphasizing the object's unprecedented scale compared to previous interstellar objects like Oumuamua, 0.2 miles wide, and Comet Borisov, which is 0.6 miles wide. The object size makes it a standout. For context, Oumuamua discovered in 2017 and Comet Borisov spotted in 2019 were significantly smaller with widths of 0.2 miles and 0.6 miles respectively. Wow. So the stars are falling from the heavens. Just like written in the book of Revelations. Uh, the stars, which uh, I believe is a metaphor of angels. The stars falling from the heaven. And there will be a great star that will fall from the heaven. And this uh, star name is Wormwood. Alright, so it says here, give me a second. The object, okay, I read that part. The sheer magnitude of 3i atlas has led scientists to clarify it as a comet with a glowing coma, a cloud of ice, dust, and gas surrounding its nucleus, which uh, contributes to its brightness as it approaches the sun. All right. So this thing is going to swing past by us. Uh, but according to you know some uh, scientists, they believe that uh, they're going to attack us in November. Again, uh, I don't see that happening. Uh, again, this is not no Independence Independent Day uh, movie, but uh, it's too early to to predict. Um, I wait till October and see how close this thing is gonna get to our planet. It's gonna get really close to Mars. And also Jupiter, if I'm not mistaken. So you have Harvard. Oh, you got this person here. He's the one that's saying that, that this is an alien uh, spaceship. His name is Arvid or RV Loeb, a prominent figure in the study of interstellar objects, has suggested that 3i Atlas may have originated from a thicker part of the Milky Way disk where all the stars reside. Now this region distinct from the thinner disk where younger stars form indicates that 3i slash Atlas could be older than our 4.6 billion years old sun. Simply put, 3i Atlas is among the elders in our cosmic block, Loeb explained, highlighting its ancient origins traveling at an astonishing 100 wow so it upgraded I mean updated so it was 130,000 miles per hour now it's 150,000 miles per hour so it's it's heading towards us really fast this object is on a trajectory that will bring it close to the Sun on October 30th, 2025. So even the date has changed. At a distance of 130 million miles just within Mars or orbit. Now it will pass Earth at a safe distance of 223 million miles. That's 2.4 astronomical units. Now, here's the thing, guys. This is not even considered a near-Earth object. This is going to be 223 million miles away from Earth. Give me a second. It will pass Earth at a safe distance of 223 million miles. This is not even going to be close to us. 
So why do you keep saying this is going to be an alien invasion on Earth? I mean, this is going to be far. This is not considered a near-Earth object. 223 million miles. That's 2.4 astronomical units on December 17, 2025, before exiting our solar system in 2026. Scientists are racing to gather data during this brief window using telescopes like the Rubin Observatory and potentially the James Webb Space Telescope to study its compar uh, composition and trajectory. Now, I was thinking about getting a telescope, but I don't, I don't think it's worth it because this thing is going to be really far. Um, so I'm going to show you a picture how far this thing is going to be from our planet. But again, like I say, guys, all that could change. This, this here, this could go down from 223 million, possibly 200 million, or maybe 150 million miles away from Earth atmosphere. It says here, um, you have the object size and brightness have fueled speculation about its nature. Professor Loeb, known for his controversial theories, have suggested that 3i Atlas could be an alien spacecraft, citing its intense brightness as a possible indicator of artificial illumination. You know, a man in his position, I mean, being like one of the top scientists out there, for him to come out with this type of... Uh, uh, belief it just it's just very unprofessional it is you cannot assume that this thing could be an alien spaceship you can't assume that you can't because what happened if this thing is just a space rock what's next oh well, made a mistake but we still have aliens out there so it says here if it's not a comment that its large brightness will be a big surprise and potentially signal a non-natural origin perhaps from artificial light, Loeb told Mail Online. This hypothesis echoes his um, earlier claims about Oumuamua, which he argued uh, exhibited anomalous non-gravitational acceleration potentially indicative uh, of extraterrestrial technology. However, not all scientists share Loeb's view. There you go. So you have some scientists out there saying, mm, dude, no, no, you're going way too far with this. Yeah, you're going way too far. What's your name? How long you been around? So you think this is an alien? We think this is a space rock. So I believe that it's a space rock. I believe that it's some kind of space rock. All right, so it says here, um, however, not all scientists share Loeb's view. Chris, an astronomer at the University of Oxford, dismissed the alien craft theory. A nonsense. Nonsense. Uh, still it's arguing that it undermines the rigorous scientific efforts to understand 3i slash atlas. Any suggestion that it's artificial is an insult to the existing work going on to understand this object. It is. It is. It's just an insult. I mean, what makes this man think that this is a spacecraft, an alien spacecraft? I mean, just give us the fact, not opinion. All right? You got to make sure this is some uh, real stuff. I mean, because people are listening to you. People listening to you, Loeb, and uh, a lot of people believe that this is alien. I don't believe in alien. The only, a the, look, I believe there are aliens, but it's the brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, again, Christians, we are alien to this country. We are foreigners to this country. Our citizenship is heaven. All right. So it says here, any suggestion that it is artificial is an insult to the exciting work going on to understand this object. Lintant told Life Science, most experts lean towards classifying 3i Atlas as a comet.
pointing to its coma and tail, features typical of comet heating by the sun as evidence of its natural origin. All right, so that's where we are right now, guys. That is where we at. This is a uh, breaking news updates. All right, so there's been some very important updates. It's, it's gaining speed, 150,000 miles per hour, and it's bigger than Manhattan. It's bigger than Mount Everest, and it's going to be 223 million miles away from Earth atmosphere. So that's going to be way out there. I mean, we're talking about way out there. That's going to be way out there. Hmm. So I want to bring this picture up really quick. And I did show this last night over on my live stream. Give me a second here. Okay. So, so you see this white line? That's uh, Atlas. You got Planet Mars, Planet Mars right here. The white line is Atlas. It's gonna get a little closer to Mars. I mean, that's the closest when it comes to a planet. And then you got Planet Earth here. So you see the distance? I guess that's 223 million miles, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, hold on, give me a second here. How far is... Uh, So from Earth to Mars is basically 250 miles away. All right, Earth to Mars, that's 300, uh, 250 miles away. So yeah, it's is it is it accurate? Um, So yeah, um, it's gonna be really far. Like I said, it's not even considered a near Earth object. To be honest, I don't even know why we're talking about this. I mean, this thing is gonna be really far. I mean, there's so many asteroid out there that is closer to Earth, and uh, we are talking about Three I Atlas or Atlas. Oh, excuse me. All right, so I will keep you updated on this news here, guys. What are your thoughts? Leave comments down below. I will bring you some more updates over at my other channel, The Real GS News. But this is all the information coming out. Uh, please share the video. Give this video a big thumbs up. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. For those of you that want to send us letters, a prayer request, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago. Oh, my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2. Holiday Florida 34691. Once again, guys, $5 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream once a week. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. For he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father except through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.